Right, that's the end of all the smooth stuff. Uh, that was Michael Jackson, Smooth Criminal. Uh, we now come to the point in the show where I can introduce to you Mad Cat. Hey, Hello. welcome, guys. Good Thanks for having us. If you're looking at the webcam, which is behind my left shoulder, and thankfully tonight I'm out of shot because we've moved it round. It should <laughs> encompass all of Mad Cat. Left to right, we have Mehmet, Danny, Kevin, and Steve. Evening. Good evening, Good evening all. Evening. Wonderful. Okay, it's customary when people come in on this show for me to ask you to pick a track that you think has influenced you. You've come up with a track by Michael Jackson, which can't be a bad thing. Never. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, tell us, why, why have you picked that particular track? Um, I think initially, um, the way the drums come in straight off is... Um, signature of uh our dan he's, he's a great drummer uh the political <laughs> views the way the way the whole song michael's vocals just um it's in all round describes each of us here individually you know we take little bits out of that track and uh, we really identify ourselves with that tune of course he surrounded himself by uh, an absolutely stellar cast of session musicians always yes. as well yeah, didn't he right, yeah. Very Which I presume you don't have the luxury of doing do you <laughs> not just yet not, <laughs> <laughs> not just yet but no. uh, well, it's it's just the music that he makes in general. It's just it has so much so many influences of what we make. It's rock, it's pop, it's it's got everything. So in that sense, he's just a representation. I think for a lot of musicians yeah, around in, in London or in the world. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Well, we'll give that a blast, and uh, we'll be back to talk to you about your EP in time. about four minutes eleven seconds. No, sorry, four forty-two. Mm -hmm. Looking at the wrong track. Right, it wasn't me that did the voiceover for that. That was, I don't know who did Ben's, uh, Ben's one. Anyway, right, Mad Cat, we have in front of us. Are they picked, they don't care about us. We do care about you. So, uh, so. Truly, we do. <laughs> so, let's start with the obvious questions. Where are you guys from? Yeah, I grew up in Holland, so I'm not from anywhere here, but um, I moved over to uh, North London for my uh, ex fiance now, eventually. <laughs> So that's where I'm from. Yeah, we, well, we, I think we're mostly based in North London, like your Enfield, Palmer's Green, Southgate, that kind of area. That's where I was born and raised anyway. Okay. Yep. Same for me Same as well. Yeah. All North Londoners, except this one. Except, <laughs> except <laughs> Kevin. Where do you come from in Holland then, Kevin? Rotterdam. Rotterdam. Yes. No, a song about Amsterdam. that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of English people do, I know. <laughs> yeah, he has heard that jingle over 50 times. <laughs> um, yeah. Great. A lot. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, yeah. Lot. Big seaport, lot going on there? The one, the, I think still the biggest seaport in the entire world, I believe it is. I think the Chinese tried it, and then the Rotterdam people went, no, 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 we're not having it, and they just broadened it up. <laughs> now, there's a lot of things going on down there. It's a fantastic, uh, fantastic town. For anybody going to Holland, everybody always goes on about Amsterdam. Get on the train, it takes an hour to get there, and it's, uh, it's beautiful, fantastic. Uh, Kev is also applying for a job with the Rotterdam Tourist Board, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> I tried. Yeah, I it's a long commute though, isn't it, from North London to Rotterdam? <laughs> yeah, no, but when you're in Amsterdam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Right, so you, you're North London boys ish. Um, obviously, you've been influenced by Michael Jackson, probably thousands of musicians have. Yes. W where else do you come from musically? I think what kind of one of the beautiful things about the band is there's quite an eclectic mix of influences. Um, I mean, I, it's, it's, a, it's a bold statement to say, but I think between the four of us, you could say that pretty much nearly every genre is covered from what we would listen to at mm. home. Like um, at the moment, I mean, I go through phases. My my kind of my iTunes playlist at the moment is predominantly dominated with kind of uh, world fusion jazz mixed with kind of. Uh, 90s to early 2000s hip hop, but then the, you know you got you got uh, me and Kev also like to indulge in metal um, a lot. You know, Steve's a big soul man. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it, yeah, there's a lot of influences there, which is kind of it, it really helps when kind of gelling and with the writing process as well. Definitely. Yeah, I don't think you can actually just pinpoint one sound from us. Really, no, I mean it's, it's it's a very cliche musical thing to to, to kind of say, which we do realise that, but like. It's, it's a kind of a theory I've always lived by is, 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 is the strength of the musician is also is always summed up by the kind of willingness to listen to different types of genres of music and it always it always helps when kind of looking and writing to, to have as many influences as possible really 
well that's true I, actually I, although i introduced you by name as we started what do you play so mehmet what's what, what what's your bass player. bass player okay danny i'm the drummer noisy boy noisy definitely <laughs> noisy yeah okay <laughs> kevin i'm the guitarist Ah, that leaves you as a vocalist then? I'm the vocals, yeah, that's right. Do you do anything else? Um, I dance really badly, but uh, (laughs) I always enjoy myself. Um, No, yeah, just vocals, and, you know, I'm trying to learn the guitar, to be honest. I've been learning for about 15 years, but no real, uh, (laughs) no really getting anywhere. I've been learning a lot lot longer than that, and I've never got anywhere. (laughs) Hey, don't worry about it. If you can sing, that's that's good enough, you know. You don't have to worry about casting an instrument about, do you? Exactly. You can just get there and turn up and do it. Exactly. his instrument there oh, exactly. it is, it is, in his court mm-hmm. yeah, you have yeah. Yeah. yeah nobody else gets to do that <laughs> <laughs> well, you decided to be the drummer my yeah. friend I'm going to be a flute player next life <laughs> <laughs> that's not very rock and roll though is it oh make it triangle then yeah <laughs> do you know you've hit on something there quite, quite often in a track you hear something that's got a um sort of fairly predominant part and I can't think of the name of the track but there is one that's got a triangle in it and I always think who gets the credit for the triangle who's who's playing that <laughs> have they got a line on the, on on the cover somewhere I don't know I just just but just chuck that out there as an idea somebody so very eager I think to try some <laughs> form of mechanical right will go to that triangle yeah, I reckon so. he's been practicing for years so. yeah <laughs> you know session musician yeah I do I'm I do triangle I'm, I'm going to lead the triangle <laughs> Yeah, most of us are in love triangles, not yeah. other triangles. Oh, fair yeah. enough, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, right, okay. Um, so we have, we've sort of spoken a bit about what you do. Let's um, let's have a, a listen. Well, no, actually, no, before we do that, new EP, first EP, yeah? Yes, right. Yes. Okay, it's called Born to Die, which I suppose is fairly accurate. That's, the, you know, Stack Born, life. Die, that's Born the way it goes. Born to Die. Is there anything deeper behind that at all? I think Born to Die, the actual first song, uh, which the EP is called off, after, it explains it very well. Mm-hmm, yeah, um, it was, it's just one of them things we uh, we came together and we started writing. Um, lyrically, uh, I sort of uh, just came up with the idea of uh, why we're here, what, what, what gets us going, what doesn't get us going, and it just snowballed into this track. And, um, yeah, I think everyone sort of comes out in the track with their own individual pieces, uh, yeah. and it just takes you from one step to another step. OK, well, we'll give that a run then, and we'll talk about your writing process afterwards, because that always interests me as well, how, how bands uh, put stuff together. So if I can find the right bit here, that should be the one. Okay, and hopefully I've got nothing extraneous going on in the background. No, that's all quiet. That's good. Right, here we go. This is Born to Die. Uh, That was Born to Die. Uh, That was Mad Cat, who are here in the studio with me. Uh, Right, we we touched on sort of the writing process as, or just before we we queued that up. So how do you go about writing stuff? I mean, is it a collective effort, or, uh, you know, have you got a writer amongst you? Well, I mean... Lyrically, normally, I, I tend to do the writing, but it, it doesn't just happen like that. What happens is normally uh, a riff will be played or, or, or a bass line will be played or maybe a little drum, and then I think it sort of happens sort of we, we have organically. A sitting, we, we get together, well, one of us will come up with a melody or a riff, like Steve mentioned, you know, it could be a guitar riff or a bass riff. Once that's played, that will give me a chance, as in the drummer, to lay down a rhythm, a, a beat to it. Um, Along the way, I think it's always a trial and error kind of process. So as soon as we start feeling, okay, this matches with that, that matches with this, that gives Steve some scope where to write, what to write with it. It's usually just a general idea that comes out of someone and then it just gets worked on, in a sense. So anybody, we're very open to criticism if that's the word to use but everybody can yeah. say to each other I don't like this bit try something else uh, if Steve comes up with something we try to help him uh, trying to find the melody lines in his vocals so it's it's a collective effort it's too complicated from. I just I just play the drums <laughs> <laughs> but in a nutshell then you get a combined writing credit yeah you, you, yeah. It, you, you all do it you all get yeah, a credit yeah, yeah. Yeah. throwing things back and forth throwing ideas around is pretty much the even yeah, comes to thing, recording yeah. things with your mobile and sending it onto a WhatsApp, for instance, and then the next time people will already half know what's going on, and then new ideas get brought in and 
that's how it sort of works yeah it does it does it, 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 listen to write a track could take us 45 minutes or it could take us four months that's how, <laughs> yeah. it, it literally is like that because some things feel natural and some things uh, they're not quite there so we like just, the 45 minute one yeah, yeah. <laughs> we just want to make it as, as, as nice as possible definitely yeah, it's been some good tunes written in a lot less than 45 minutes yeah. oh yes True. yes. I, I heard Sam Smith wrote the Bond theme in 20 minutes the new one apparently oh right okay well, that'd be a good example then. That'd be a real, really good, yeah. though, wouldn't it? What's the hourly rate for that, I wonder? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Um, do you stray out, sort of, sort of, musically? Do you stray outside the things that you... Your, sort of, your core instrument? I mean, you said you know, bass, drums, guitar. But, I mean, do, do you play anything else? Do you bring anything else into the mix? In in your in the, the writing process of, of, our, of the band? Or well, in whenever. Just, in our... Day to day, yeah, I, I play various different instruments, uh, pianos. Uh, I, I love percussion instruments. So I always, as a little boy, used to walk around when you go to the paint shops and hit the, uh, the buckets and everything like that. So I've always been intrigued by that. Always, always. I bet they love you at home base. No, they're, 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 <laughs> other DIY stores are available. Even got suspended from school for tapping on the desk. So <laughs> <laughs> I had a lot of that. Mem, you're a keen guitarist, though, yeah, aren't you? I play guitar as well. Um, Play for a few other bands on guitar as well, so yeah, it's a lot of fun. I started on guitar originally and then started picking up the bass. Found the bass. We don't sort of bring in anything exotic like mandolins or anything like that. Would you like to? I own one. I own one. Like yeah, absolutely gorgeous instrument, but. Or a ukulele, maybe. There you go. I own one as well. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. I'm not as keen on the ukulele, if I'm honest, but. Um, when there's the place when if we have an Hawaiian yeah. themed tune we'll bring it in I might try and get the bazooki out one day and uh, maybe they can have a little go on that that's a, that's a quite good instrument oh, no, that, this is Greek that, heritage that, talking that, that cool, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well Cat Stevens used a bazooki I think yeah, in some of his did, tracks right. yeah, 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 he did. and I've seen a rock band that had the only string stuff they had were ukuleles that was a bit odd, I, I'm, I'll, I'll grant you, but, you know, I mean, yeah, there's, there's a, lot, a lot of odd stuff out there. But, yeah. I mean, to be fair, I don't think, you know, from, from what I've heard of, of your stuff, you don't need to go quite that far off, off piece to, <laughs> to yeah, make a name for yourselves, yeah. really. I don't think any ukuleles would come through with the noise that we made <laughs> yeah. anyway, so... <laughs> Well, wire it up properly. Yeah. Anyway, no, perhaps best not to go then. <laughs> <laughs> How are we doing here time-wise? Okay, um... We'll play just a um, couple of jingles because we're sort of contractually obliged to do that sort of thing. And then we will play track two of yours, which is called what? Love. Okay. <laughs> and I take it the, the, the subject matter goes with the title, yeah? Yeah. I pretty would say much. So, yeah, pretty, pretty much. Yeah, a keen obsession for Jaffa cakes, mainly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, let me just sort out the uh, the electronics here and play the couple of jingles, and then we will go into a bit of love from Mad Cat. Right. Whoops. Uh, that was a love. That was Mad Cat, and they are still here in the studio talking to us live on Radio Decorum about their new EP, Born to Die, yes. which is released when second of October. So it is. And uh, we've got the uh, launch party happening at the Silver Bullet in Finsbury Park, uh, which is opposite the Finsbury Park station. It's a renowned, uh, yeah, it's a renowned um, venue as well. Uh, so I think it was rated one of the top uh, live venues in London. Uh, Mainly for the, past. the sound is yeah. amazing there. Yeah, so um, loud. Yeah, we're going to be uh, having a few bands playing on that night, but it's going to be a big night. We're going to launch our EP. It's going up on iTunes on the same day. Uh, and if you turn up to the door with a receipt on your on your phone from iTunes saying you've bought the EP, you can get in for free. Ooh, what if I turn up with this? <laughs> you are a VIP already. You can oh, come, you can come <laughs> any day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, just for the benefit of the webcam, hey, look, I've got the, um, the EP here. Lovely cover. Got lots of other men artists mentioned on here. Yes. Why is that then? It's actually the... Um, background picture for that is actually uh, my bedroom wall uh, on the on the actual cover we've got um cds there and mu other music that's kind of inspired us or the first tracks that we sort of bought on tape and cd and we thought it'd look quite cool on on that shelf in mem's room do you want to have a guess of which one is which member 
<laughs> oh god, that's difficult. Um, <laughs> or not? You just know for not. twenty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. Um, obviously, collectively, you pick Michael Jackson, and we've got bad on here. So I don't know. I go for that. Danny for that. Oh, I've got it. Oh. Oh, we're on a roll here. Okay. Um, I just just to have a quick run through for for the people that are listening because looking at a CD cover doesn't make particularly good radio. Uh, we've got uh, REM Automatic for the people. We've got um, Radiohead or Computer. Okay, computer. Okay, computer. Sorry, I can't. It's too too small for me to read. We got Fun Loving Criminals, 100% Colombian. Uh, you're one in the middle, of course. Uh, Sex Machine, the very best of James Brown. It's all good. <laughs> How do you pick the best of James Brown? And uh, Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band by, of course, the Beatles. Yes. Now then, uh, there are more CDs and cassettes there than there are of you. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got, we've obviously got a couple of ringers in here. Um, uh, let's have a go. Um, I'll put Sergeant Pepper's down to Kevin. No. Nope. No? Oh, dear. <laughs> Lost me touch. Okay. Um, the Mehmet, fun loving criminals. No. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, I give up. No more Jaffa cakes. <laughs> no more Jaffa cakes. <laughs> well, it was worth it while, while we were going. Anyway, yeah, so, um, where were we? Oh, yeah, we were talking about the launch and yeah. social media. You must have a social media presence. Yeah, yeah. you can uh, pretty much get us everything on We Are Mad Cat, or one word, and that's on the Facebook. Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram. The, the website itself is yeah. uh, uh, wearemadcat.com. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, the website should have all, all of the details of up and coming things, um, and the Instagram. We'll have uh, a logo, uh, which underneath it should have the um, date of the launch night, which yeah. is the second. And it's also, it's what we really wanted to do is to make the EP night something special. So we got a video launch as well for the video clip of Born to Die, but there's also four support acts in Burb um, playing for us, and we've got DJs afterwards, so it's one big party, yeah. uh-huh. to be honest. Okay, I'm actually looking at your web page at the moment. Yeah, I mean, you've uh, so far this year you've played at some good places: Water Rats, uh, yeah. Goblin Groove, Ackland Village Market, uh, Our Black Heart. I don't know that venue, but that's, that's in, in Camden. Camden. Actually, it's quite a, quite a good little venue that one. Yeah, surprising. come away with the fairies. Yeah, mm, yes, and you've been back to Ackland Village Market again. Obviously, that's made a big hit the first time round. Yeah, it's that's such a lovely place to perform. Actually, it's a um, pe- Petticoat Lane. Yeah, it's a great vibe. Yeah. Great day, like, outdoor, um, really, and just yeah, lovely on bit a of food as well. Yeah, free entrance for people that like to come in, which is a rare thing to find in the industry in London nowadays as well. So mm. it's it's just general very good vibe for any musician to play. Okay, and your launch party while we while we were talking about that Silver Bullet Finsbury Park. And it all kicks off at 7 p.m., yes? That's right. Friday, October the 2nd. Yes. Okay. And what, nearest tube is Finsbury Park, I guess, is Directly it? Directly opposite. Oh, right, opposite. okay. As soon as you come out of the station, outside the Arsenal shop, uh, straight across. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously having a dig at the videographer there. I, I, I can't imagine why. I don't know what's going on there. But anyway. So from, from this part of the world, it's, uh, it's really easy to get to. Straight down to Euston and a quick uh, stop or two on the tube uh, to Finsbury Park. Yeah, absolutely. No problem. Just easy access. And got any other gigs lined up after that, or are you going to collapse in exhaustion after <laughs> after that until the end of the year? <coughs> we are going to concentrate on writing. We've got another EP hopefully coming out by uh, January. So there's a lot of things happening. I'm having a baby, and uh, you are. We. I'm um, yeah. personally. Well, yeah. I have actually. Look at it. But <laughs> I contributed to the baby that we're having. It. So. Um, yeah, we, I'm going to slow down, but as soon as Christmas comes, we're going to go full force again, hopefully. Yes. Cool. And in the meantime, if anything special comes up, we'll yeah. drag them out, That's take it. the baby with us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, babies and clubs, that doesn't really go together all that well. Nah. But anyway. Okay, so you're on you're on Facebook, you're on Twitter. What was the other one? Pigeon Post, did you say? <laughs> messenger Pigeon. Oh, Messenger Pigeon. <laughs> I'd never heard of that one. Okay. <laughs> Me, I'm not down with the kids, hey. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just too much of this stuff to keep to, to keep track of. Uh, and you're in with the Twitterati as well. Okay. So, people, if you want to get, you know, fi- find out what Mad Cat are up to, uh, go to their website. That's wearemadcat.com. 
Uh, they've got a media tab, they've got a shows tab, they've even got one with a little teaser of the music, but of course you've heard it here first. Uh, you will, by the end of the show, have heard the whole EP. Uh, no recording under the bedclothes or anything like that. Don't like that sort of thing going on. No, no, no. <laughs> Don't want you losing your royalties and stuff, do we? <laughs> no. OK. Uh, right, I think we're about at a point where we could be playing uh, that last track. Um, last track is Got To Go. Yeah. Um, it's basically a song written about... Uh, Leaving. leaving someone that really <laughs> is taking advantage of uh, their situation with you and you've had enough and it's time to kick them out it's a banger uh-huh. in general it's just a so it's them that's got to go not you oh yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. we're yeah. here to stay yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well it'll be cosy is all I can say and it's blooming warm in here as, yeah. as you will be noticing okay well um, th- we'll play out with got to go from Mad Cat don't forget album uh, sorry album EP launch at the Silver Bullet in uh, Finsbury Park. Park they're all over all the social media they've got a, a, we- a website wearemadcat.com you can find out any- anything you'd want to know and probably more if I'm honest on the website mm-hmm. uh, loads of photographs of them doing all sorts of strange things <laughs> um <laughs> And there's some teasers for the music as well. The EP is going to be available uh, iTunes, you said? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Other yeah. platforms yeah. as well? That's right, yeah. Live performance yeah, should be on Vevo. We're working on that. Um, it should definitely be on YouTube. Um, so all the links will be on the website. Yeah. And if you want uh, a hard physical copy like the one I've got here? You have to come down and we might sell you one. Okay. <laughs> so av- available at gigs, basically, That's if, right, if you yeah. want a hard yeah, copy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no market stalls or bedroom industries or anything like that? No, not yet. We're working on that, then. <laughs> We're working on it. <laughs> Next to our Jaffa cake stall. <laughs> okay. Guys, it's been great having you along. It's been splendid listening to the music. I wish you every success. Thanks Thank you very much. Uh, I shall be back next week. I don't know whether we've got a guest in next week. I can't remember. Um, I don't know. I'll announce it during the week if we have. Stay safe during the week. Have a great time. And um, don't forget, 2nd of October, get your copy of Mad Cat Born to Die. And this is Gotta Go, because we have. <laughs>